Here we have your typical Scandinavian grind 90 degree spine carbon steel bushcraft knife with a walnut wood handle. Over time your steel ages along with your wood. The chip from use moisture erodes, rivets come loose, scales detach. In this video we'll show you some paracord knife survival hacks should you end up naked, cold, and alone in the woods sand scales. And we don't mean it in a good way. What do you mean in a good way? For this first one, we're going to utilize about four feet of paracord. Take your paracord, make a bite at roughly the same length as the handle. Keep the top of the bite open end at the end of your handle. Take your working end and begin to wrap it around, starting at the base of your handle, encompassing the entirety of the bite, giving your standing end running down the length of the blade. Keep wrapping and follow nice and tight all the way up. Once you get down to the open end of your loop, you're going to want to take running end, and here we bonus a little bit due to the hole left from the rivet that was once running through the scale. We can push this down below through this little hole from said rivet and through our loop and up. Now that we have that set through that eyelet, we're going to take our standing end and pull all of this tight, cinching in what's left of our running end into and below the wrap. Then the rains came, so we moved inside for some kitchen table bushcraft. On your standing end, this little tag end guy, you're going to want to take advantage of plasticity in the elastics of the paracord. Burn that down. Sort of move it to the side underneath. Let that melted plastic adhere itself. And you're locked in. With the excess we've left on our working end, we're going to make a lanyard for our knife wrap. Super simple. Take the excess, make a bite, grab said bite, three quarters up, doing a simple slip knot. Take the paracord, run it under your standing end, over, something about rabbits going down holes. Pull it tight, left with an adjustable lanyard with your, from your excess. Let's go back and undo this and try out a quick release lashing. We run out of dry wood to stab, but let's at least keep it seasonal. This verse, same as the first, only this time we're gonna make our bite running up the handle towards the blade. And just as before, go behind and around, but this time make a bite and run the bite through the bite. Bring it nice and tight, that bite. Bring it back behind, around, make a bite, run it over a bite. And so on. Going under, up and over, under again, up, Make a bite on your running end, pass it over the bite you originally created on your standing end. I guess they're kind of both working ends. And just keep going. Cinching it down as you go. Now when you get to the end on this one, you're going to make your final bite. Pass it through your standing end bite. Come back down to here. Pull that in, and if you look at the top, we put the bite through, box it in place. Grab your knife again. Let's cut this off about, eh, it's going a bit. Cut this off about here. Got this nice and tight. Let's give it a trim. Freeze up this end so that the strands don't come out. 
Same thing on this end. Cut the strands all up. Now you've got a quick release lashing on your handle. This one affords a little more grip with the spine you've inset going down. Now, if you want to release this quick release, grab your tag end here up at the top, pull that overhand slip out, get it out of the way. I'm gonna grab this guy down here. You use to tighten it and lock it in place. Give it a pull and you've got all your paracord to work with. Sun's back out. What happens if you lose your entire knife and still need to cut some paracord? And that's that. Saw through your paracord with paracord if you've got a problem with your knife. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. They don't like us. They don't like us. They ain't gotta like us.